Bonjour à tous. Welcome everyone. Um, the, this year we're going to present uh, the, the winners of the Olive Dog Competition. So the Seattle Canada Olive Dog Competition is the largest extra virgin olive oil competition in Canada. Yeah, We're going to be... cool. oh. Please, uh, I will ask everyone to put uh, your, your, um, your mute button and uh, we will this presentation is recorded you will have access after the presentation if you have any uh, uh, question during the presentation you can ask them directly in the q a and we will answer them uh, right after the presentation so uh, I was, as i was saying uh, the this is the largest extra uh, virgin olive oil competition in canada bringing together over 80 olive oils this year again uh, it is a prestigious and recognized competition with high visibility. The jury, chaired by Christine Chelan, owner of Chateau Liran, selected 12 winners, four favorites, and one packaging prize. Christine Chelan is recognized as an international expert in olive oil. Her global experience in the olive oil sector as an olive grower, oil mill manager, consultant, jury chief, and competition president enabled this woman of character, originally from France, to establish at the national and international level an unfailing legitimacy due to her work and her commitment for more than 20 years. She travels the olive oil world with the same desire to share her knowledge and her passion. Christian, I leave you now the floor to introduce the competition. Christian, you need, oh, yes, perfect. So I am in France, um, nice to, uh, to speak with you. Um, is it time for me to um, to speak about the winner? You, you can introduce maybe your jury members as you're seeing on the screen. Uh, okay, um, so Stephanie uh, is a member of the jury, of course, and uh, she's a um, um, jury uh, of uh, recognized by uh, the International Council. <laughs> Carol Fusari is a French people also. Uh, it's a judge uh, for the International Olive Oil Council. Uh, Lotus Anun is a French uh, tester and uh, she win uh, um, a prize with a uh, seven test uh, testing. Uh, Charlotte Acuria is a young girl, but she is an analog and uh, agriculture uh, engineer agri agriculture. <laughs> Camille Vallon is a French judge and she's recognized also by the Olive Oil, uh, International Olive Oil Council. Uh, Jacques Artaud is a prestigious uh, people uh, in France and uh, it's a um, professor of uh, chimie and specialist of olive oil. And uh, Denis Olivier is, um, is a, um, also a panel test in France for uh, the, uh, recognized by the Con Olive Oil Con International Olive Oil Council. So, and during, uh, during the, um, the three, uh, three days of testing, we have to test, um, we have to test, uh, uh, they have to test uh, 18, 86, uh, 80 olive oil, a tea olive oil uh, from uh, 10 countries and uh, um, it was a very uh, complex uh, testing uh, because a lot of uh, people uh, a lot of participants in uh, medium um, green fruity so um, after uh, the winner oh oui, yes <laughs> so it was in Chateau Biran uh, it was a, a very good, um, a very good period, and all our, all the Jews were very connected. So uh, for the green ripe fruity, we uh, select uh, four olive oil, and the um, the winner was this one. This one is uh, Oleum Hispania Suave Kids. Is the winner? It's gold medal. After the second, the silver medal is this one, and this one is zero, zero, the name is zero organic olive oil from Crete, zero sepia. And he obtained also the price of packaging because look, it's a very lovely, lovely packaging. And this bottle is also in a lovely box. The, the, after the third prize, 
the uh, bronze medals is come from France, is uh, Arche de Leos in ripe fruity, and the coup de coeur is this one. It's come from uh, Alma Oliva Arbokin, it's come from Spain, Alma Sara de la Subetica. Very lovely oil also. So after, for the light fruit flavor, we, the winner is Gallo Coleta Madura. So Gallo is from Portugal. After another Portuguese olive oil, so with the silver medal, is Oliveira da Serra Selexao Auro. The third, the bronze medal is Orobailen from um, Orobailen from Spain, Galgon 99. Uh, the variety is Arbukin. And the Jews love also this one from Oleum Hispania, Mono Varietal Pajajera del Molino Virgin de Fatima in Espana, también, uh, from Spain. <laughs> After, for the medium category, Gallo, also uh, from Portugal, it's for the Gallo Reserva. Still sorry, there, uh, we are showing uh, in the screen right now the intense category. Ah, sorry, intense, <laughs> oh. No, no problem. <laughs> Okay, the intense before, the, before the medium. Okay, the intense, the winner of the intense is a um, uh, uh, very famous uh, olive oil. It's Benta del Baron. May you have a look. Um, Almasara de Muela in Spain. Uh, in Spain. After the second, the um, uh, silver medal. It's no leave Epicure. No, no leave oils is also an oil from Spain. And the bronze medal is come from Spain also, and uh, Rincon de la Subetica, as uh, um, the oil is from uh, DOP Pri Priego de Cordoba, it's organic olive oil from Spain also. Rincon de la Subetica. And the coup de coeur is come from Spain also, and it's uh, Rafael Alonso Aguilera. Oro del Deserto es una variedad que es, uh, es, es, es uh, un piqual. Piqual uh, is the specificity of the variety. And after, now the medium. Okay, the medium olive oil. So it's the gold medal is Gallo from Portugal, worldwide Reserva, uh, Gallo Portugal. The second is also a um, Portuguese olive oil. It's uh, Oliveira da Serra Lagar do Manuelo and uh, el Grupo Van Sovena, Portugal. And the third, the bronze medal, is come from also uh, España, a Palacio de los Olivos Picual, Baedad Picual. And the fourth coup de coeur of the jury is uh, Melo Oliva Picuda, Baedad Picuda, Almazara de Muela, and Spain, uh, Spain also. Voilà. And so, and the packaging price. Voilà. Thank you for the presentation, uh, Christine. Um, if you have any question, you can ask them uh, in the in the Q and A section. Is there any winners uh, connected with us that would love to uh, to share their their impression? I would invite you to uh, to let us know. Perfect. So I, I don't see any. Uh, oh. Yes, we have one question. Xavier Ponce is asking, what are the criterias 
Christine, maybe you can tell us more about uh, how was the, the selection and the, how, how did you process? Okay, um, uh, how I process. Um, first, um, as we are, as we, I have a lot of judge, uh, it was possible to uh, test uh, very slowly and uh, and uh, slowly and uh, and the same the same process as the uh, international olive oil council because all my judge uh, this year uh, was um, um, uh, uh, was uh, our pardon uh, so so alors je le dis en français ce sont ce sont tous des juges reconnus par le conseil um, they are all judge recognized by the international olive oil council so they they test the oil from the um, uh, the same method as uh, they have to judge oil if they are in competition for in for uh, the uh, international olive oil council great because uh, yes it, it was a special year you, you were in france so <laughs> Only from France, Bluge, okay, because I wanted a present, je voulais que tout le monde soit autour de la table, okay, et, um, et aussi, uh, donc, ils ont, they have a test uh, the oil, uh, the same process uh, in a, um, same process as the official testing uh, in um, blue uh, glasses, uh, 26 years, uh, they uh, have to test uh, uh, the fruity, the intensity of the fruity and uh, bitterness and pepperness and uh, after also to think about the longer ambush how do we say longer ambush uh, the, la, la même chose que sur une compétition uh, du, cons, du uh, conseil olicole international great thank you um, I have another question how do you explain the overwhelming success of Spanish oil <laughs> uh, I think uh, uh, there, was, there, there, was a, there were a lot of uh, olive oil from Spain on the competition. Uh, so we have um, uh, the first, the main part of the, of the participant was, was come from Spain. After the second country, uh, it was Tunisia. Uh, after we, have, uh, we had uh, olive oil from Chile. Uh, from France, uh, from uh, Crete, and um, to answer to your question, uh, it's because a lot of participants also from uh, Spain, and uh, and Spain is a main producer uh, of olive oil in uh, all over the world. So it's uh, around uh, fifty-one percent of the national uh, international production. So it's because there is a lot of oil from. Uh, Spain and they produce very well. Perfect. I have a question um, from someone in Turkey. So greetings from uh, Turkey. How many brands were in the competition? Competition for the middle. Uh, I think they're they're the the la moyenne. In a, in a medium fruity. Yeah. How many competition? Yeah. How many competitor? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, there Wait. was four. 40? 45, 45 olive oil Great. in competition. So it's Perfect. because we uh, we do uh, it was uh, we we um, add we use one day to judge only the medium uh, category. Great. I have someone who uh, I think wants more detail about their participation. I will invite him to uh, ask you uh, directly because you, he can. Uh, go on the uh, on the CL Canada platform, ask a question on the olive oil, uh, olive dark brood. So they will uh, chat directly with you, Christine. Um, have there been oils that you have missed because of were not uh, extra virgin olive oil? Um, I'm not sure to understand this one because it's the, the contest is only for extra virgin olive oil. So. Um, I have another question, uh, actually, in the Q&A. How the COVID-19 could affect the olive oil sales? You can answer in French if you want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, uh, I'm going to speak about French, uh, French market. And uh, it's, a, it's a, a good year 
malgré le Covid, uh, it's a good year because a lot of people uh, want good product, want to consume good product. It's because uh, this year in France, we have a very good stealth about uh, we body boy. They want quality and they want very good product. Authentic product also, and olive oil, it's an authentic product. And, 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 and also uh, during the period, the COVID period, uh, a lot of people uh, cook more. So they use more olive oil. Perfect. Do we have any uh, other question in the chat or in the Q&A? It's the, the time. Okay, the, the question was precise, the question before. So some participants might consider there are to be extra virgin olive oil, but it can have it, it maybe it's not so uh, but christine you are we are asking for the uh, official uh, analysis so you're basing also your their participation with that so first first we analyze uh, all the all the technical sheet of the participant and uh, i um, it's they are obliged to uh, supply us the analytic uh, sheet of their olive oil so it's because we are sure, uh, uh, analytic, uh, analytically, we are sure that uh, it's a, a extra virgin olive oil. And after we test the oil, and if uh, some are, have a defect, uh, they are not in competition. And, um, and so uh, we have some this year with defect. And so uh, um, the judge don't like to have to test um, very, we, uh, olive oil with defect. So they are not happy uh, to test this type of oil because they are, they are really in the context of uh, uh, in the international olive oil. And so um, they, they, are, they want to test the best olive oil from, from uh, all over the world. And so uh, if there is a, a, a very a little defect, the, the olive oil are out. And if, they are, if, if, the, if an oil have a defect, is not uh, in a virgestra category, extra virgin category. It's only uh, virgin. Great. I have a question. How did you secure not revealing the brand while tasting? Sorry. Christine, la, la question Qu est, est comment est-ce que vous faites pour ne pas révéler la brand, la marque de la, de la compagnie durant le tasting? Donc, c'est un tasting qui est à l'aveugle. Okay. It's because uh, I, I, uh, I put the oil in the blue glasses, in the blue glasses uh, and with a, with a number writing on the glasses. So uh, the judge test uh, an oil in the blue glasses with a number. They test a number. Perfect. Um... And until now, all Jews don't know the, did, don't know the winner. Until now. Great. It was a um, would you say that some specific oil varieties are more promising regarding the or organoleptics than others? Um, uh, uh, excuse me, sorry. Would you, would you say that some specific oil varieties are more promising regarding the organoleptics than others? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. There is more. There is some varieties with uh, um, char organoleptic characteristic more intense, more more um, more complex than other. Um, it's because there is also different type of uh, jury in the competition: ripe fruity, uh, medium, um, slight, light, uh, medium, and intense. It's because to give the chance from variety. Uh, who are not, who are not uh, intense characteristic of uh, during the testing. For example, uh, an Arbequin, uh, it's a, a Spanish variety, uh, an Arbequin olive oil from, the olive oil from only Arbequin, it's a variety. Um, normally the producer put, um, uh, inscrit, inscrit son huile, comment on dit, inscrit? Register. 
register thank you <laughs> this oil on the, um, on the, um, the category uh, light footy and um, uh, a producer who produce a uh, piqual for example piqual is a variety from spain or sea also uh, it is going to uh, register its oil in intense category and if the if the same olives for example piqual is harvested later um, not at the beginning of the harvest, but at the end of the harvest, perhaps it will uh, register its oil on a ripe fruity. It depends also the, 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 by the period of the harvest during the season of the harvest of the olives. And after all, they, are, they uh, depend on the, the variety, depend on the, the testing, uh, they choose their um, category to compete to, uh, to the competition. Sorry for my English. <laughs> no problem, it's perfect. I have a question uh, in the chat also. How was the food service olive oil sales impacted by COVID-19? So in all the restoration industry. Toute la restauration? Est-ce que, je peux la dire en français, est-ce que c'est les impacts que la COVID a eu sur les ventes de l'île? Build your leaf sur le food service. Uh, not really. Uh, not really. For for uh, I, I I know it was a good year for a direct consumer, but for the food service, of course. For example, uh, all the restaurants who uh, who can who, they are they are not allowed to uh, to uh, function, not allowed to open. Work. So uh, yeah, it work. So. Uh, uh, I think uh, there was down the the was down, but the the consumption uh, directly to the final uh, consumer is what it raised. Perfect. In in the French market, is it more local olive oil sales, or that does, or it doesn't not affect the international uh, French market? So is this more uh, local the sales or international? No, for example, my business is international business also, and uh, it wasn't a, the COVID period wasn't a problem. Uh, I, I have a I have a order from all over the world. Perfect. So I don't see any other question. It's the time to uh, ask your final question if you have some. Perfect. So, oh, I think I have another one. Okay, no, perfect. So, thank you uh, really uh, much, Christine, for your implication with uh, this contest. Uh, thanks to all also the, the new jury members uh, because of the situation. Um, thanks to all the participants of the contest and congratulations to all the winners. Uh, I will send you all the, the logo so you can put them the your your medals directly on your all your uh, okay. your communication and everything thank you christine and if you have any question you can ask them directly to christine in the in the chat of the cial innovation virtual platform CIA canada virtual platform and it will be more easy for me to write in english than to speak in english <laughs> Uh, thank you for uh, for thank you for everything. <laughs> bye bye. Perfect. Merci à tout le monde.